What's up fish catchers Jacoby viewers? We are out here on a beautiful creek today. We are going to use my micro reel which I will show to you in just a second to catch some brim and bass today and uh, maybe a gar. I've seen some big gar in here but I don't know if I can get them to hit a lure or not but we'll see. Either way guys, stay tuned. All right guys, so this is a Shimano Sienna 1000. Uh, it's just a little cheap uh, I got it at Field and Stream for about $60. Uh, I got it a few years ago. It's just a little cheap. I call it a micro reel. I don't really know what you call it. I love these little reels though when I'm fishing in creeks like this because you don't really need much. But There are some nice bass in here, but I'm using a Strike King little crankbait. It's just a little, I don't know what size it is or what they really call it. It's just, I just know that it's a Strike King. You can buy them at Walmart Academy. They're only like five bucks. They work really well in here. Uh, for brim and bass and um, we're using four pound test line like I said uh, there are big bass in here so they could possibly break this but chances are they probably won't and chances are those big bass I've only caught a couple out of here they're, they're usually pretty um, their mouths are usually pretty tight it's the only way I know to explain it they're kind of hard to catch but you sure can see them in this clear water but let's see if we can't go ahead and catch a fish here There he is. Come on, coming to Papa. There we go, guys. There we go. There we go. Fish number uno. Should be fish number three. Let's get him unhooked. All right. All right. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing much to him, but that's okay. I'll show you what I'm using here too in a second. So that is a nice little bass in this creek. I'm sorry if I couldn't get it in the picture. This is just a little large mouth. Uh, there's, this little stream is full of um, Alabama spotted bass. This is not, this is a large mouth. And it's not a very healthy looking fish, but I mean, it is late summer. So I'm sure he, they're, the, they're about to get real active and fatten up before it gets winter. But this creek tends to stay about the same uh, temperature. But yeah, that's not a very healthy fish. Uh, it could be full of worms or something, but I did just miss a bigger one in a minute ago, but let's get a Woo! You're just telling us bye. I just missed another one right there in that spot that was bigger than that one So what we're using here guys This is uh, actually from Walmart. This is like a car. I think this is one of the Ozark brand lures and <laughs> As you can see it worked. We tried the trick worm. This rod's not really made for uh, rod and set up with this Mono is not really made for trick worms. It's kind of hard to set the hook uh, and uh, the little Strike King lure, but it didn't, it wasn't yielding anything either, which I really didn't give it much time, but I watched a lot of fish pass on it. So now we're using this, it's kind of like a little jerk bait. So we'll see what it does here. We're gonna make another cast right in here because there was a bigger one that side swiped it a minute ago and didn't take it. Yeah, I didn't think anything was gonna come back. All right, next hole. There he is. Ooh, nice one. Nice fish. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful fish right there, guys. Ooh, look at that fish. Look at that, look at that. All right, that is a beautiful long-eared sunfish. Let's get him off. There's a nice bass right there too. I'm actually got my stuff to do a catch and cook. Should we do one? This ain't really a good spot. Oh, he just peed all over me. Okay. Ooh, those little hooks are sharp. Did he get pee all over my camera? No. Okay, guys, that's a. Pr I'm pretty sure that's a long-eared um, sunfish. Uh, a lot of people call them pumpkin seeds, but I think that's a different variety. We're gonna let this one go. Uh, I actually, I'm probably gonna keep one if I can catch another nice one here in a little bit to uh, do a little quick catch and cook. But we'll go ahead and let this one go for now. Off he goes. What I have to do is delete footage. Oh, 
smack lacked it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo, there we go, guys. <laughs> There's a nice one, baby. That's a nicer fish. Now, this is a healthy fish. Let's see if I can get him unhooked before he hooks me. Actually, I'm going to have to hold him like this real quick. Should have loosened my drag a little bit for that one. All right. That is actually another beautiful largemouth. Yeah, that's a beautiful largemouth. There is, like I said, some spotted bass in here. Actually, there's a lot of Alabama spotted bass in here. I just have not caught one yet. Now, this is a healthy fish. The other one didn't look so healthy. This one's nice and fat, but I mean, it could be just the time of the year. It's hot and everything. So, I mean, it, I mean, it is what it is, but either way, that's a beautiful fish. <clears throat> I'll show you what I switched it back up to. Off he goes. I switched it back up to this little Strike King crankbait. I was getting kind of tired of that twitch bait, only got one hit. I'm, I haven't fished fresh this creek or fresh water in a while, and, and I just get so antsy on what I want to use, so I keep switching it up, and sometimes that's what you got to do until you figure out what lure they're going to hit the most, and that one right there, he slammed it. So let's see if we can't just stick with this and catch a few more. There's a brim. <laughs> <laughs> he's obviously not big enough to do anything with but that's another looks like another long-eared sunfish this one's not as pretty as that other one we caught uh oh and he just lost his eyeball oh well he might uh he might have just lost one eye but he'll probably be all right but uh, that one was definitely not as pretty as the other one but those little long-eared sunfish are the majority of the time when i catch on these little crankbaits it's not usually uh just regular bluegill every now and then i'll catch a bluegill a nice bluegill on it but something about those at these little crankbaits really piss those long-eared sunfish off or pumpkin seeds whatever whichever one they are i'm not really sure oh there he is <laughs> there it is guys there is your bluegill I should probably go ahead and do the catch and cook with him, but I want to catch a nice bass before I do a catch and cook. I think we got time to catch more. I'm sure you guys think he's about eating size. Be a little bit bigger, but you ain't gonna. I mean, there is some nice brim in here, but they're kind of hard to catch. So many little ones you got to deal with before you can try to catch a big one. Like a waterfall up there. There he is. There he is. I wonder if he'll be a nice, oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, catch and cook time, guys. Now this isn't going to be part of this video because we got plenty of time here. This is a nice fish. We're gonna pull off to the side, catch and cook, and then it's gonna be released a day or two after this video. So let's get this guy started because I still want to fish for a little bit longer after I do this. There he is. Nice. Not a big one. <laughs> uh, we can certainly catch the small ones, can't we, guys? Woo, look at that fat fish. You being greedy. Hey, gum it. There we go. Look at this fish, guys. Look at this fat fish. He was being greedy, son. What a beautiful little bass. Now this, I thought might have been a little, it might be a spotted bass. It's hard to tell. He don't have the rough patch, but he has the, spotted bass's hinge doesn't go, largemouth's hinge usually goes past their eyeball. Spotted bass don't, so this might be a hybrid or something. Because it, it definitely, that hinge is not going past its eyeball like a largemouth. But yeah, we keep missing all the nice size bass, but we'll take these two. And see. Quick release. Off he goes. I knew there'd be a fish back in there. Woo! Ooh, there's a shot. Ooh, I nailed it too. Ah! 
There he is. Broom. <laughs> I had to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me guys. Oh, that's a nice little pump again seed. Look at that. It must be some doing some uh late spawning. Pumpkin seed, long-eared sunfish, I believe is the right term. But they must be doing some late spawning. This is a male. They get real bright like that. Look at them. <laughs> Wrong way. Uh-oh. Sorry, fella. Come on. They get real <laughs> there he goes. They get real bright like that when they spawn whatever you want to call it, spawn, breed. Um, I feel like I'm not saying the right word because it feels like I'm all over the place with my thoughts. I've had so much going on today with the catch and cook and whatnot, which look forward to guys. There will be a catch and cook a couple of days after this video has been posted. Uh, first one I've done in a long time. The, the, it'll be a, the way I did it will be a, how I will do it a lot of times from now on, and I'll bring more stuff next time. But either way, we're not talking about that. But I believe they uh, spawn a couple times a year. Uh, not like a bass. A bass does it one... Well, maybe not for the females. Let me, let me re-say that. Oh, got another one. He's trying. Got him. <laughs> another pumpkin seed. Look at that fish. Um, pretty fish. Maybe not for the males, because I'm pretty sure the males are the ones that stay on the bed, but the females will... Either way, you get my point that they only breed that little part of spring. However, I'm pretty sure that in the middle of summer, brim will bed more than once. And they'll make these, I have, it's been a long time since I've seen it in a creek, but I've seen some brim bed on some, they'll dig little holes and put little shells in it. Beautiful beds. I haven't seen none in here, but the colors on them are very obvious to me that they've been, they've been uh, breeding late summer one late summer breeder where they're done for the year i guess nice fish right there too there he is oh that's a nice broom <laughs> i was hoping to catch one more bass guys but look at that big old bluegill that's a nice fish oh don't you do it <laughs> Uh, like I said, guys, this little lure, um, let me get this fish unhooked. I really should bring a little pair of pliers when I'm using these trebles. Every time I get one out, another one goes in. Come on, let's not tear them up. There we go. Every time I use this lure, I catch nice size brim, and I catch a bunch of long-eared pumpkin, sunfish, whatever you want to call them. And that is a nice little bluegill right there. That's about what I said. You usually catch some nicer sized bluegill and a lot of big pumpkin seeds and bass on this little Strike King. There's a couple, you can see those bass right there. There's one, there's one. They're not very big, but I'm about to catch another brim. Trying to catch one more bass for you guys. Oh, there he is. Oh gosh, what is that? Another nice brim. <laughs> I'm trying to catch one more bass for you guys. Look at that bass right there. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. You see me catch this brim and he came up and they try to steal him from the brim, but they won't hit it while I'm reeling it. But uh, <laughs> I was trying to catch one more bass for you guys. My camera is done, I mean my camera, my GoPro is done overheated like three times it's because it's so hot down here and i'm recording constantly and i can't get it to cool off but there's a nice brim right there and i'm about to just go to this bend right here and i'm going to be done i'm going to call it and i was hoping to catch one more bass and these bass right here a lot of times with these bass like see here's one right here if they're not eating real good if they see me they're not going to come after my lure i mean there's bass everywhere right here but i see how sometimes we hit spots and then it's like instant bass instant bass but right now Ain't happening. They done see me, but it sure don't seem to bother the brim. But we might catch one more bass around this bend before I go here. What though, it has been a very productive day. Can't really complain. Missed a couple good fish. Caught some decent sized fish. Ooh, there was a nice bite. I don't know what that was. Probably a, a little baby bass. 
Look at these brim. Look at them brim. Ooh, look at him. He's like, oh, the hook. Um, so, I mean, all in all, can't really. Oh, there. <laughs> there's another brim. I can't really complain. I don't know how many brim we're going to pull out of this hole. Another bluegill. I should have done my catch and cook now, huh? There you go. Nice fish. A little bit on the small side. They just, they love this little strike king. Look at him coming at it again. I'm about to catch another one. Got him. <laughs> oh, you can't beat that right there, guys. There's another one. Golly. That's a nice bluegill. Look at that. Look at that fish. Uh oh, he's going to twist my hook. He did twist my hook. That's a nice bluegill right there, guys. Good little creek bluegill. And then water he goes. I tell you, they, they don't stop. I could sit here and do this all day, man. I, this is one of my favorite things to do. You don't always got to go out salt water and catch big fish. You can come in here and enjoy yourself. Especially from the heat right now because it's so hot out there and catch fish all day sometimes you catch big fish there's some big spotted gar in here there's some big bluegill and there's definitely some five pound bass they're just hard to catch i've tried i have caught one nice oh there was another brim i have caught one nice bass in here it's probably about five pounds but i've tried them on live bait in here and i've had them swipe at it i just couldn't get them to take it Speaking of gar, is that a gar right there? Wish I had some sunglasses. Under the water like that. Oh, there he is. Oh, he done twisted me up. You kidding me? Is he on the hook still? Oh, he got me good. Yeah, he's on there too. I don't think I can get to this guy. This is pretty deep. Maybe he'll get himself off. Oh, dang, coming. I can't get to that, guys. It's like, it's like 10 foot right here. Don't look like it, but I'm already ankle, I'm already knee high, and then it's like straight drop off. I can't go in there. Uh, oh, yeah, that's deep. With all my gear on. Dang, coming. I hope that fish gets off. Uh, we're going to try to recover this fish, or at least my hook. I can't swim out to it. It's real deep. And I can swim. It's the problem is there's a bunch of logs underneath there and I don't feel like cutting my feet open on a bunch of logs and sticks. It may not be as bad as I think, but we're gonna see if we can walk it. Oh yeah. We got this all day. Whew. Ooh, there's a nice bass. I just scared out. Ooh, that's slimy. Okay. All right. Okay. Bass everywhere. Yep, I did have that fish hooked too. I wasn't gonna leave them like that. I don't like that. Look at this, guys. This is what you call hand fishing. Ugh. I think it's a green sunfish too. Let's see. Saved. Save of the day. Look at that. Beautiful. <sighs> Give me a second. That is a beautiful, and I mean gorgeous, green sunfish. Look at that. Whew. 
<sighs> Whew. Look at that beautiful fish, guys. I couldn't leave them on the log. Oh, look at that spider. Get off me. But I was afraid to go on the log because... Ah, now I gotta get this hook out of him. Give me a second. I'm deeper. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful green sunfish, guys. I was about to say I did all that and he choked the bait and I thought he was gonna lose them. I'd have to bring them home or save them for a feed them for some cut bait or something. But look at that beautiful fish. My goodness, let's go ahead and get him in the water, get him resuscitated. There he goes. He'll be all right. I didn't even gill him or nothing. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get that hook out. And that's why I didn't go down in there, guys. I couldn't really tell from the bank, but there's logs everywhere, and he was on that log, and I didn't want to swim down there and cut my legs up. But I got my lure. Ugh, throw it up on the bank. And I think that... Whew, I'm sorry if I'm breathing hard, guys. I think that will officially be the end of of my video i wish i didn't have this case on my video i'd show y'all how deep it is right here because it doesn't look like it but it's a good 10 12 feet deep right here and i would let my camera dive to the bottom but if i didn't have my camera i would be jumping and doing a cannonball onto the bank but i got to be careful getting off this log but either way guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time